Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to utilize style effects and selection groups to get the most out of your shapes. What this is going to help you with is getting more out of your Azure components without creating dynamic panels. What I see is a lot of new users and even experienced guys, whenever they need any sort of interactivity, they resort to using a dynamic panel. I know how amazing dynamic panels are. They're the thing that makes Azure such a powerful tool, but if there's a better way of doing things, you might as well. Here we are, this is the final product. Um, as you can see, I have three plans and each card has a slightly different rollover effect. Um, the, the color or the gradient inverts itself and they all gain this outer glow or outer shadow. Um, so it pops out a little bit and then you can select it and then it sort of allows you to select one like, uh, like you would in this case or just the, the same way that radio buttons work. So let's jump into Azure and recreate that, or Axure. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Actually, I've been pronouncing it Azure for a long time and I'm pretty sure I've been wrong. Anyway, let's give it a header. Um, choose your plan. Uh, make it slightly bigger. That should be cool. Um, no subscription cancel any time. Uh, slightly smaller and uh, central line both of these and then just center them. Cool. All right, now let's, uh, let's create the cards. And all those cards are just rectangles with uh, one image over them. And I'll show you how to make it uh, the, the easiest way without any dynamic panels, without any states or anything like that. Okay, so let's round the edges a little bit, um, a little bit more. Yeah, maybe even more. Fine. Now let's give it a fill color. I have, um, I have these gradients here already made, so let's say, yeah, this is, this is fine. Um, and uh, uh, I just want to make a point here that don't forget that when you're creating shapes, they can all have text in it uh, in them and they, they, they can always have uh, formatted text. So if you need, say, a text box or a box with a, with a header and some copy in it, don't jump in uh, dragging in boxes and then headers and paragraphs and so on because you're just going to end up having too many components in your page and they become messy, especially if you have like a complex file that you're working with. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll show you an example. So here, let's say this is basic, uh, add these two lines there and then let's say the price is $19.99. Um, right, let's left align it. Text here can be, yeah, this is probably fine. And then let's make the price a bit more prominent. So let's say it's huge and heavy. Um, and now let's give it a little padding. I think that's pretty similar to what, what I had in the example. Yeah, all good. And now let's give it some style effects. So we want to say, right, right click and style effects there. And we want to say that uh, when you roll over with your mouse, we want to change its gradient to, so let's invert these. Yeah, it's probably all right. And let's just double check if that's if that was inverted or not. Ooh, it's pretty big. What's, uh, what's happening here? Let me zoom out. Okay, I don't know what happened here, but these are absolutely enormous. Let me just make them normal size. Uh, all right, let's change the size in here now. Okay, I think right, um, and the gradient seemed to be okay. Let's just double check that. So uh, yeah, this is better. Oh, the gradient is uh, non-existent, so let's double check that. 
Let's just quickly invert this. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Now it's going to work. So now when you roll over, the gradient inverts itself and it has a little wobbled effect, quite um, Apple TV-esque. Now let's give it a, a shadow so it sort of pops a little bit. Um, and as you can see, you can change many, many things here. You can change, uh, you can format the text, you can format uh, border, uh, shadows, uh, anything you want, alignment, character spacing, bunch of options here, but we're, we're just gonna give it a shadow and change the color. So let's give it an outer shadow of that, uh, that purpley color. And uh, let's just maybe slightly underneath and let's just blur it up quite a lot. Um, and now we also want to give it a selected state. So click, click on selected. And let's say all we want to do is give it a fill color of sort of something along those lines and change font color to white so it you know pops a little bit. Um, actually, let's give it a little inner shadow so um, as you click on it, it looks like it sort of is indented a little bit. As it's already quite dark, you need to you need to make it almost black and blur it up a bit, and that maybe it's a little bit too dark. Yeah, here we go. Should be fine. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, we haven't uh, we haven't told it that when on click we wanted to set selected. So uh, go back to actual file and give it an interaction. So in the interaction on click or tap set selected. Here we go. So you want to find set selected or checked and this widget. So what we're saying is uh, leave these as they are. What, what what we're telling it is that when you click on it, it will change to whatever you styled it to be selected here. So this state here. Let's check it out. Here we go. Right, let's, uh, let's just create the other ones. So we had three, obviously you can have as, as many as, ooh, as many as you need. Sorry about that. Here we go. Um, so it was essential, I think. Um, and let's say pro. Um, to, right now, let's give these some different uh, style effects. So this is one of the good things about it as well, because um, you can style them however you want, and you can have the style effects also differ from one to another. Obviously, sometimes you want to, you might want to have them all the same, but um, if you don't, this this is very easy, and you don't have to create duplicate bunch of different um, dynamic panels and work with the states uh, and things things become messy quickly like that uh, right let's give that a different <coughs> a different gradient and now we need to edit the style effect so we want the style effects to go so let's let's see the preview okay we have that okay so now we need to just invert the gradient here because uh, I selected the same as the previous one. And now let's give it the outer shadow. This, oh, all right, let's preview. Outer shadow is a bit harsh with that color, so let's dumb it down a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the se selected state, in this case, I'm, I'm keeping the same, but same with uh, as mouse over, you can obviously change it to whatever you want. So if you wanted them to not all be black when selected, but instead have, um, for example, if you uh, wanted the fill color to stay the same, but give it a, a line or, or, or something along those lines. Obviously this looks horrendous, but you get the idea. Let's just see if I didn't, let me make sure that I didn't mess it up. Nope, that's all good. All right, now let's do the same to this. Right click style effects, and you want that sort of purpley pink, uh, sorry, orange to pink. Invert them up there and give it a shadow that matches the, the card color. That should be fine. All right, let's check it out. So the rollover works pretty well. And then if we select them, 
they are all selected. So what you need to do now is add them in a, into a selection group. Um, and you can have as many selection groups as you want. So if, for example, there were sort of, you know, five or six steps to this, if you select your, your plan and then perhaps the duration of the plan, you can all put them in, in, in separate groups. So select all of the ones that you want to add to a group and find selection group, call it whatever you want, plan. Let's check it out. Here you go, perfect. So the only thing that's different from the, the example that I was showing is it had little images in the corner and I've got these ready here. So let's go, first one is little cupcake. Um, probably slightly big. And again, there are no sort of, no, tr no trickery here, simple image overlaid on the, on the, on the card, which uh, comes with its obvious limitations. So it can't be taking too much of the card because then obviously the roll of, uh, over effect won't work. Um, and, and the user won't be able to click it. But in this case, it works pretty well. Um, I have sort of, um, cheated a couple of times with this. If I wanted uh, the image to be slightly bigger, I made the card almost transparent and put the image underneath and that worked pretty well, but it kind of depends what uh, what you're trying to do and you can always sort of find a find a quick quick way of, or smart way of doing this. But in this case, just a small image at the, in the corner works pretty well and um, because the image is, is white and the selection or in the selected color of these is uh, almost black, works pretty well because the, the image sort of pops a little bit. <clears throat> Here we go. Beautiful. And I mean, if we look at the file, look at that, there's two, two text fields, a um, couple of shapes, shapes, and then three images and, and, and it works wonderful, wonderfully. Um, I'll show you quickly just another use that, uh, that this has. So if we, you, if you were creating sort of like a main navigation of a website, um, let's say this was sort of the, the background for it. Let's give it a fill color, uh, duplicate it. <clears throat> Actually, let's just change the color quickly so I can see where it is. Um, let's say we're gonna have three buttons in the, in the, in the navigation. It's a very small website. Uh, right now, let's give it a bit. Right, let's give it a fill color of uh, same as same as the the, the container home. Um, pop the text a bit, and now let's give it some uh, some style effects again. Let's say a mouse over the fill color is going to change to uh, sort of slightly darker than uh, a bit more. Then, uh, then your container, then your background, and then on selected, we will change it to quite a bit darker. Here you go. Um, and let's give it the, the interaction of uh, clicking on ta or tapping, and we are setting selected this widget set to true. Here we go. Now let's duplicate that for the rest of the navigation. No, this needs to be the background needs to be slightly uh, wider. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but it doesn't matter. So let's say this is about us, and this is um, contact us. Let's put them in the selection group. To the nav. Let's check it out. Here you go, your simple navigation with literally three components in Azure, um, four components. So now the only thing that you need to do is as you land on this page, I imagine you'd want one of these to be selected. So say you land on the homepage, you want this to be to be purple or dark purple. So simply right click and selected. And as you can see, it's also uh, disabled if you need that. Um, let's preview. Here you go, simple as that. Um, hope this was easy to follow. Thanks for watching.